In this session, we're going to start entering some properties. City is actually a taxonomy, so we will be able to enter our properties into this city. All listings should show none right now, but we can already see some cool things here. We're going to be able to see a featured image and the address and the listing details, price, status, agent, and date. So let's add one. I found here a charming little farmhouse in northern Michigan. So I'm going to grab the address here and make it the title. There. This doesn't look right. Let's change our permalinks here. Change it to post name. I'm going to publish this the way it is. There. Now we get a much better permalink slash property and then the address. Then we have here a large description area. Let's see what we have for a description. There. Now we have a nice description. For city, I'm going to put in Copemish. I'm going to skip excerpt. I don't want comments. We'll come back to author here in a few minutes. Let's come back to the sidebar here. We'll say yes, display the address. There's our number. And let's see what the zip code is here. There. Now we press this and we get coordinates, which are great for Google Maps. Now let's put a price in. It says it's 69.9. Something cool is it will tell you you are not allowed to have a comma there. I'm not going to put in any price text. There is no auction date. I do want to dis display the price. And there's no under offer. Not house and land. I'm not going to put in a sale price. All right, so let's come back to our listing details. We'll put in a heading here. Our listing agent, Steve Gates. Property status is current. Authority is House category. We're going to leave it at house. But as you can see, there are many options. And unique ID. In America, we have MLS numbers. And here is our MLS ID. We're not going to make it featured, and we're going to leave off the inspection times. Let's publish this as is right now. And then in our next session, we'll take a look at listing features. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Before you do anything else, click on the subscribe button. We also want to hear from you. Do you have any questions? Leave a comment below this video.